So, if you guys have been following Mr. Uh, Michael Pactor, or Patcher, however you pronounce his name, I don't know where the T is in his name, I forgot. You should know that lately, you know, he, he's just continuously just kept on going on with this whole Apple is, you know, going to be the downfall of Nintendo. Nintendo is doomed, you know. All these developers, they're going to, you know, the phone, you know, marketplaces and stuff. They're going, they're developing phones, making cheap games, getting, you know, making some money. Which they are. But here's the thing, Packer. Patcher, excuse me. Nobody is going to abandon Nintendo for a no tactile button touchscreen gaming experience. Nobody is going to do that. Nobody nobody's gonna do that. Or you know, nobody's going nobody's gonna leave Sony for that matter. People are always going to want to play Mario. And there's always going to be that crowd that wants to play their Metal Gear and Monster Hunter. So they're going to get an NGP. You mean to tell me some bipolar birds is going to stay away from the Mario audience? No. No. Here's the thing, Mr. Patcher. With one MB Games... You're limited. I'm not saying, you know, one MB is the limit, but, you know, a lot of games are actually, like, just one megabyte. Yes, developers are, you know, starting to develop more for phones. They're making profits on that, whatever. But the games have a limit to how complex they can be. And that's what you got to understand. But it's never, it's so, you know, add that in with the fact that it's all touchscreen based. So you're covering up a huge region of your screen with your big ass thumbs. And, you know, the fact that there's no tactile feedback, you know, it just feels just very flat. There's no, no physical feeling between you and the game. You know, that's not going to beat out a dedicated gaming device, a dedicated handheld. It's not. It's just not. Phones, yes, they can play games. But they weren't made for games. That's why they will never top the 3DS or PSP2. And they're not even going to put a dent in them. At all, like I said, nobody is going to choose Angry Birds over Mario. Once the 3DS releases, and these commercials for Mario 3DS starts popping up on the TVs, 3DS is going to sell 10 million copies, along with 20 million copies of Mario 3DS. Mario 3DS is going to sell more copies than... There are units sold for the 3DS. <laughs> That's how massive it's going to be. Apple is no threat to Nintendo or Sony for that matter, but especially not Nintendo. Their install base is too huge. Their fan base is way, way, way bigger than the fan base of Angry Birds in other games of that matter. How, how much has the DS sold? Uh, what was it? Four, uh, 140 million? Or one, 160, 180? It's, it's some ridiculous amount like that. There's a lot of DSs sold out there. And it's, it's, the 3DS is probably going to top it. With the 3D, you know, the more the be beautiful graphics, more powerful system, you know, awesome uh, community connect, uh, connection, you know, connectivity features, the Wi-Fi and everything. Augmented reality, the 3D videos, 3D video chat, you know, that, that's going to destroy. I mean, every, people are going to want that. Nobody's going to say, oh, I don't need a 3DS on my phone. Nobody's going to say that. Now, for a casual gamer, yes. But, you know, here's the thing. Casual gamers, you know, they also buy, that's like where a lot of the DS's install base comes from in the first place. You might be able to find one or two people who would feel carrying around the, a 3DS or a PSP2 unnecessary. But like, but like I said, it's just one or two people. It's a very small amount of people. It's a minority. Any gamer is going to want to play the 3DS or PSP2 over their phone. They are. They are. Even with these simplistic games, sometimes it's hard to control because of the whole you know, touchscreen thing. And now, touchscreen on the on the DS, you know, that works because you have a stylus. So, you know, everything is more precise. 
But when I put when I place my thumbs on this screen, not only am I blocking out like what 25% of the screen. Well, this is my index fingers. So Here's my thumbs. Not only am I blocking out a huge portion of the screen, but there's no tactile feedback using the touch screen. There's no buttons. Like I said, there's no physical connection between you and the game. You don't, you know, if you shoot somebody, you won't feel it. It's, it's just, it's flatness. It's flat. Look, look how big my thumbs are on this screen. Look, look at that. So basically, when I'm playing a game on my phone, I'm playing with a screen that's this big. Like half the size of the screen. Phone gaming is never going to be a threat to dedicated gaming devices. They're not. They're just not. They need buttons. They need to be more powerful. Yes, the iPhone is you know, pretty powerful, but I've yet to see an iPhone game that tops the 3DS or the NGP. There was that, what's that one game that's on the Unreal Engine? That looks pretty good, but isn't that an iPad or something? I forget. Well, you know, the iPad, that's a different story, although, Let's be let's be realistic here. How many people own iPads compared to the, the install base of the PSP and the DS? You see what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna say, oh, uh, you know, I don't need a 3DS, I don't need a PSP, I have an iPad. Nobody's gonna say that. And here's another thing. The kids, they're not gonna say, mommy, can you buy me an iPad so I can play some video games? You see my point? A little kid is not gonna say that. A little kid is gonna ask for a 3DS or a PSP. Because those two devices are focused, are created. Their sole purpose is to fulfill us gamers' need for gaming, real gaming. For complex games that are over one megabyte. Patrick, I swear, that's one of the dumbest things you have ever said. And you really need to chill out on the Nintendo bashing too. Because it's just, the, let's, let's be honest here, Patrick. The only reason why... You keep bashing Nintendo is because year after year they prove your predictions wrong. Since what 2007? Oh, they need a Wii HD. They, they need Wii HD. They're, they're, they're gonna fail. They're not gonna make it. They need a Wii HD. 2011, the Wii is selling just as much, sometimes more, most of the time more than the 360 and the PS3. Still, on outdated hardware, you know, no HD graphics, no 1080p. Not as good online, still selling just as much, sometimes way more than both the 360 and the PS3. So that that's really the reason why you keep bashing Nintendo is because you're just you're mad because they keep on showing how stupid you are, unintentionally. They're not they're not trying to make you look dumb. You know they're just letting they're you know they're just letting the you know just letting it go, just letting it sail. You know it's not like oh let's prove him wrong. The Wii itself just selling. Keeps proving you wrong. 2007, oh, next year, they need a Wii HD. 2008, oh, next year, they need a Wii HD. 2009, oh, next year, they need a Wii HD. 2010, oh, next year, they need a Wii HD. The, the, the bias against Nintendo in the media is seriously ridiculous. Nintendo has to be the most hated game company this generation when it comes to the media. And the fanboys, for that matter. Especially the PS3 ones, but... I just wanted I just wanted to talk about that because I think I, it needed to be said. <laughs> gaming on your phone is the, basically, guys. Just at the end of the day, gaming on your phone is not the same experience as playing on a DS or a PSP. It's just not, and it will never be the same experience. That's it for this video. I'll see you later.